If you're an investor like Marco, and you have cash sitting on the sidelines, but it's earning a measly amount of money with pitiful interest rates, there is another way to earn more cash in the stock market. In Marco's case, I would suggest selling put options. Let's take a look. The sale of put options can be a prudent method to generate additional portfolio income while gaining exposure to securities you would like to own but want to limit your initial capital investment. So what is selling a put? Selling a put means you have an obligation to buy the security at a predetermined price to the option buyer. So sell puts only if you're comfortable owning the underlying security at the predetermined price because you're assuming an obligation to buy if the counterparty chooses to sell. In addition, only enter trades where the net price paid for the underlying security is attractive. This is the most important consideration in selling puts profitable in any market environment. Now, there are other reasons to sell puts, but today we're only talking about the simple strategy of selling puts. And the key takeaway you should have is that when you sell a put, it's like setting a limit order to buy a stock. The big difference is you get paid to sell a put. You get nothing for setting a limit order. All right, so let's go through a simple example. So for our example for Marco, we're going to take a look at the Spiders Gold Shares. The symbol is GLD. It's an ETF. For disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of GLD. Now, we've talked about this in the past, and for this example here, I'm using MarketWatch simply because real-time does not have option uh, prices, and we'll go through that option chain here in a second. But looking at the all-data monthly chart, in previous videos, I've talked about uh, gold and silver heading on down, and they are near, in my opinion, near a bottom. So this would be a, a decent uh, stock or ETF to take a look at. Now, options vary quite a bit simply based on the volatility of the stock. And since uh, this particular ETF doesn't have much volatility, the pricing of the option or the puts is not going to be real high. So this is a very simple very safe example, but you can get much higher returns when you're picking a stock that has higher volatility. So what you want to do is wait for a downtrend in that particular stock because that's the timing that you want to look at. That's when this sort of uh, procedure works. All right, so we have a quote at $113.80. Over here, we can see that it's setting up uh, a price above $110, a little bit of a bottom here may be forming. We'll go on down here into the MACD. We can see that the MACD is just going under zero or the midline. So it's uh, getting relatively stable. And then the stochastic is down, as well as the Williams. So this is probably a pretty good time to maybe take a look at selling puts. So now on MarketWatch, right here in the upper uh, middle portion of the chart, you can see the option chain. Just click on that option chain, and uh, you will have perhaps your brokerage may have uh, option chains, and so you can go into your brokerage account and find that information. We're not going to want to deal with the October 18 put options, so we'll just close this. It'll give us all these different uh, choices, and let's take a look at the December. 2018 options. Let that load. On the left side are your calls. We're not going to deal with that today. On the right side are the puts. And as you can see here, with regard to your strike price, then you have your symbol. You can click on that and get the symbol. There you have these columns here. This is the last price that traded of that day. This is the change from the prior day, the price change from the prior day. This is the volume, the amount of volume that uh, did or occurred in that given day. 
This is the bid, this is the ask, and then this is the open interest. And that just simply means that uh, from the tr time that this, uh, these puts started trading, you've had uh, 30 contracts, 515 contracts here. Now each contract is 100 shares, keep that in mind. So looking at this uh, chart here, let's go on down. And this is your current uh, or most recent price close again, $113.80. So looking at this, let's just say that uh, you're very interested in this ETF. Um, and, and $113 a share looks good to you. Well, what you do is you just take a look at the table here and you look at $113. Right now, the premium, the last trade, was a dollar fifty-seven per uh, per share, actually, not contract, but uh, per share. So then, uh, that change from the prior day is minus seven cents. The volume on Friday was eighty-five contracts. Again, the contract is a hundred shares per contract. The bid 151, ask 154. The open interest is 4920 contracts. So if you sell a put and if you sell at a strike price of $113, you'll receive a premium of about a dollar fifty seven per share. So Basically, what happens is that when you sell that, you collect that premium, but you have the obligation to buy that stock at $113 a share if the buyer of that option puts those shares to you. So that'll be then by the third week of December. So you collect a buck fifty-seven. So essentially, your purchase price on that stock if the stock gets put to you any time between now and the third week of December is the strike price of $113 a share but you've collected that premium of $1.57 so your effective price is $111.43 so lower than today's price and of course lower than the strike price so if the stock is attractive to you at that price of $113 then it should be attractive to you at $111.43 now if you work the math this is uh, not a great return but that buck 57 on the $113 a share and if you did that four times a year which you could in this case it calculates out to a 5.5% return on that uh, money throughout that year. Now remember, you don't have to use all cash, you can use margin. But I don't necessarily suggest that you do this on margin. So let's just deal with that at 5.5%. So it's a relatively low return. It's better than what you're probably getting at the bank or maybe even by your brokerage. But 5.5%, that's not a great return. But if you look at stocks that have more volatility, then those returns can increase quite substantially. And for me, in my history of selling puts and selling calls, I've had a great, great history of that. You have a lot of success. This is a relatively safe way. If you're interested in buying the stock at $113.80 or $113 a share anyway, then why not sell the puts now, you may or may not be successful, and a lot of uh, investors actually don't want necessarily to get the stock, and so they'll uh, put their, their option prices, their put prices lower, and just continue to churn these put options throughout the year and make a very advantageous rate of return on their money. So again, a very safe way of using your money, whether you buy the stock, it's put to you or not. You can earn extra money doing this. So Marco, this is a suggestion, but there's a lot of information out there that you'll want to go and read and research. This is a very simple example here, and it's very easy for you to go out, get additional information, and study this as a possible strategy for your portfolio. So for today, 
That's Chew Dog Charts. But remember, on Wednesday, I have another strategy coming for Snowfire and Yvonne. So once again, this is Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.